What is going on my fellow Vikings? It's Ghost here with another build tutorial video for you and in this one we're going to be rebuilding my Raven statue. The first video had some pretty poor audio quality so I've increased the audio quality. I've even included a few upgrades to the statue that a couple of subscribers gave me ideas for. So this one will be freestanding without the core wood posts holding the wings up and it even has some glowing, glowing yellow eyes. So here you go. Here's how to build a Raven Statue version 2.0. Okay, so your first step is going to be place down a 45 degree beam on the ground. Then switch to a wood iron post and snap that to the front of the 45 degree beam. After you've done that, you're going to switch over to a 26 degree beam. And you're going to snap that to the top of the wood iron post in the opposite direction of the 45 degree beam on the ground. Switch back to 45s and snap one on the back side of the 26 in the opposite direction. From here, stay with a 45 degree beam and laminate it to the back side of this 45 degree beam, making sure that the top corners align horizontally along the top of the statue. Then switch over to a 26 degree beam and rotate it in the opposite direction, making sure that the bottom right corner of the beam touches the top right corner of the back beam. This will create the head. From here you're going to keep with the 26 degree beams rotating them out once and snapping them to the front of the head. Next we're going to move on to the wings and to build those we're going to use 45 degree beams snapped to the back side of this little V section that you see in the video. Make sure that the beams are rotated out towards the back of the statue, at least one rotation. Switch over to 26 degree beams and snap them to the end of the wings, making sure that they're rotated in towards the head at least one rotation. Switch over to 45 degree beams, snapping them to the end of the 26s and rotate them in once. From here we're going to be building up the inside of the wing by using 45 degree beams surface mounted to the front side and slightly moved upwards. If you go up too high the beam will disappear, just bring it back down and snap it in place. Continue on on the next section of the wing by using 26s and following the same rotation while snapping them to the end of the 45s that you just placed. In this part here I'm using 45 degree beams and snapping them to the end of the 26s that I just placed in and I'm rotating them out one rotation so that the tips of the feathers cross each other at the end of the wing. Here I'm using 45 degree cross members and I'm mounting them to the central beam on the inner wing structure. I'm starting at the bottom and I'm working my way up so one at the bottom, one in the middle and one at the top. I'm also rotating them in once towards the head just to add some extra depth to the wing. Before moving any farther, I'm going to stay with the 45 degree cross members and snap them to the wood iron post and rotate them out just slightly so that it creates a tapered body. 
I had a bit of difficulty here getting them snapped in, but you shouldn't have too much difficulty when you're building this. After you've completed this step, switch over to 26 degree cross members and then start placing them in the upper portion of the inner wing structure starting in the middle beam and sliding them up until the top left corner of that cross member just pokes out past the top of the wing as you're seeing here. Again on this side, starting in the middle of the central beam, slide it up just so that the top right corner on this side is poking up just past the wing. Here you see this nub sticking out past the wing and these are important to have because this is where we're going to attach a couple of feathers on the very end of the wings in the next step. So this next section is kind of just personal preference. Uh, I suggest using some 45 degree beams as you'll see I corrected later on and snapping them to those little nubs that I was just talking about and using some 26 degree beams just snapped off the end of the wings and rotated in. Again this is personal preference you can experiment with different techniques. I find using the 45s up top and the 26s below kind of make a nice tapered point to the wings. Here I'm using a one meter post to create a beak and I'm rotating it out so one of the corners is facing directly forward gives the beak a little bit more of a sharper look. Next I use some 26 degree beams and snap them to the 26 degree cross member. This gives me a little nub sticking out of the top of the wing again to add another little piece of feather that kind of shapes the end of the wing. Sometimes it can be difficult to get these two beams to snap in properly, but just keep trying it. It, it isn't necessary, so if you want to skip this step, you can. I just find it adds some more depth to the wing. Again, I used some 45 degree beams snapped to the end of these nubs and rotated in just to give the, the illusion of feathers being spread at the tip of the wings. Here I'm placing 45 degree beams snapped to the bottom corners of the 26 degree cross members to hide the overlapping of the feather cross members below them. And then I switch to building the body by using 45 degree beams rotated out to create a V'd out chest. And then I'll place a 2 meter beam over top of the wood iron beam at the front to hide it. To create the legs I used 26 degree beams rotated out to create the illusion of legs spread out trying to grasp something as it's swooping in. And then I'll use 1 meter beams on the tips of those spread out to create the talons. To create the tail feathers I used 26 degree beams snapped to the back side of the 45 degree cross members that create the lower half of the body and I just follow the angle that the body's at and then I infill it with uh, wooden stairs to create a feathered type of look. Then I snap some vertical posts to the back side of the head just to create sort of a spine over the back of the bird.
This next little detail was an idea by the username Lycan Fitness. He left a comment on the original video saying that he added some yellow mushrooms to the head to create some glowing eyes, so I thought I'd add that detail in here. I just used some horizontal item stands snapped to the side of the head in order to mount the yellow mushrooms to. I think it's a pretty cool design, but I think the placement of the mushrooms have to be correct in order for it to work with the statue. And that's it guys, that's how you build version 2 of the Raven statue. I really appreciate all the input from all of my subscribers and everybody who's commented giving me additional ideas to improve the statue. We got rid of the core wood posts that supported the wings, added these cool looking eyes, just tweaked the build a bit. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new content. And if you're interested in following me anywhere else, you can join my Discord channel. The link for that is in the bottom right corner of the banner on my channel. Just follow the yellow arrow. There's also a link in there for my Reddit where I post a lot more content. And uh, I really appreciate you guys for everything that you've done. Thanks for watching this video. This was another Build by Ghost.